Welcome to another episode of the Slippy Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make some holiday treats. Since Christmas is just right around the corner, and this is a tradition in our family, buckeye balls. Now, this is going to make a tremendous big batch because I get these out for uh, treats and stuff, and we eat some. And you just never know who's going to show up to your house. And you want, don't want to leave them out without giving them a little Christmas gift. So, you need uh, 20 ounces of peanut butter. This is a 40 ounce, so just half of this. I mean, you could use crunchy if you really wanted to. But traditionally, they're with, made with smooth peanut butter. Two sticks of butter. And this, I like salted butter. You can use unsalted if you want to. This is at room temperature. I left it on overnight so it get good, good and soft. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Normally you don't see vanilla in the bowl recipes, but I put it in mine for a little extra and it makes it so yummy. Sometimes you'll need the whole two pound bag of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar as sometimes you see it and sometimes you won't so I'm just going to pour in almost the two pounds and then start mixing with my hands and then we can figure out if we needed the rest. Clean hands just come in here and just start breaking it all up. Now this takes a few minutes and you're thinking why didn't you melt that butter? I've m melted the butter before doing it and putting it in and it just makes it you have to use more powdered sugar and it don't taste right to me so keep mixing till you get it all mixed still working on getting the dough for them um, if you're worried about the butter I'll show you a piece if you're worried about the butter in here the heat from your hands is melting it and it's melting right into the peanut butter don't melt it in the microwave or that is a no-no I've done that before oh and that was just awful yeah I had to add so much powdered sugar so it was so sweet I've got it all mixed just make sure you mix it until you see no more powdered sugar and then what I'm talking about the right consistency where you might want to add or more powdered sugar if it rolls into the ball easy for you then you're good to go but this is still a little bit too soft so I'm gonna add the rest of my powdered sugar so the whole two pound bag went in all right we're getting ready to roll our balls I already started on some of them but what I'm talking about the right consistency it's not too soft and it's not too hard and you roll it into a ball and mine are not perfect but about a one inch ball and you put it on the cookie sheet along with some wax paper. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling until you have no dough left. Mine aren't, go aren't gonna be perfect. There's gonna be some misshapen and stuff, but I think that's just, you can tell that they're homemade. Um, We used to make these all the time, especially the holidays at the grocery store I used to work for. And you know the big uh, commercial grade stand mixtures, the whole bar, you know what I'm talking about. Them, that bowl's deep. I'm talking about deep that thing would we'd have like it almost to the flipping top but you couldn't mix no more and almost almost fly peanut butter out the floor and roll like 5,000 balls until my hands were ready to fall off but I think that's exactly you know at my, my grocery store that they still do by hand roll out and I think it looks homemade with love and rustic not uh, not from a manufactured of a machine where it's so perfect. So keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Just pull you off some more dough. Roll your ball. About one inch. If you want them bigger, roll them bigger. If you want them smaller, roll them smaller. Alright, we've rolled and rolled and rolled. And each pan is holding 60 balls. So, I like to put mine in the refrigerator to chill. I like to overnight if I can. 
but a good six or seven hours should be fine then you're ready to dip on the melted chocolate. Off to the refrigerator they go. All right, we're back and I've been a dipping. In, let me get me a pot holder so I can touch this pan that's hot. In like a double broil, this is just a pan. I got some water in here. Got it to go in with a lot of steam. And then you put you a heat proof bowl either glass or metal, no plastic, and then you dump in uh, two packages of the semi-sweet morsels, and these were 12 ounces a piece. You can use milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate chips, the almond bark. You don't have to do the chips. You can get the almond bark and break it up. And then you put in three to four tablespoons of coconut oil, and this is what it looks like. If you don't have that on hand, then three to four tablespoons of um, Crisco vegetable shortening. And it gives it these a glossy sheen and lets them sit up real good. And you keep melting your chocolate and stir, stir, stir until all everything's melted. The, the coconut oil or the shortening, whatever it is you're using. And the chocolate's all melted and keep stirring until no more chocolate chips are seen. It's all smooth. Then you take your skewer or a toothpick, either one. And then remember I chilled these overnight. Let me tilt my pan a little bit. Because I'm about running out of chocolate. You would dip them in. And you leave the top undone. Or you can dip them all away. It doesn't matter. But if you leave the top undone like this. And let the excess drip off a little bit. And then put back on your wax paper. Take you another toothpick. And kind of pull out your skewer. It kind of looks like little buckeye nuts that grow on the trees. And if you don't know what a buckeye tree is, look up the state of Ohio. That is their tree. So look that up. And just keep it dipping until you've got all your balls done. I'll do this one all the way so you can kind of see what it looks like. Well, Okay. Shake off your excess. Keep shaking off your excess. Then, and if you really want to come back, you can take your skewer and kind of cover up the hole if you want to do it all the way. If you don't want anything, anything showing the holes. If you're doing it all the way. But, if you're doing it like the back eye, with the parts still showing, and you still want a presentable without all the holes, you just come back because they're getting soft now on you. You come back and kind of squish it over, and there is no hole no more. These have been chilling for about 30 minutes. About 30 minutes in, or to an hour for like, the chocolate hardened real good. So these still have, still have toothpicks in it. But they come right off the package. They come right off the package like this. Bugger balls!